Where'd you park? Cause I'm gonna park next time. I think so. It better be. Oh. I got a call at work that uh, Nicole was having a seizure when she was about six months old, and that's when it all started. From there on, she's pretty much had them the whole course of her whole life. I mean, it just got worse as I got older. You know, I would go on and off different prescriptions and eventually my body would get immune to it and I'd have a seizure. So then we would just change to another prescription and it went on that way for years until eventually it just wasn't enough, you know? And uh, was it like November 14th, 2005 is when I had the accident. That caused me to lose my license and haven't been able to drive for almost eight years. It's eight years having to rely on other people to drive or to catch a ride. And I've been trying to be there as much for her as possible. Uh, not only uh, taking her to and from work, but whenever she had some errands she wanted uh, done. I felt bad for her, you know, have her having her seizures. And My grandmother, she was a big part of keeping me in, in line, because I mean, how else would I have kept a job, you know? I'm thankful that everyone, my friends, my family, coworkers, everyone's understood the whole seizure thing. A lot of people might have lost a job by it because of it, but I've been here for over 12 years. She's definitely been a um, inspiration for the whole team here, and just that she's, I think, proud of herself, you know, that she's able to, has been able to um, overcome that, has been, you know, great for the whole team here. I've had very depressing times where you think you're going nowhere, like you start to run out of hope, but they've all kept me going, you know, that, oh, it'll be, it's close, it's soon, it'll come someday. You know, you want, you want to step in and you want to take it away and you want to put yourself in their place. I tell her that. I, if I could trade with you, I would. So this laser surgery was like my last hope. I had no other options. I didn't know what else to do. In terms of looking at other medicines, we knew that wasn't going to be effective for her. And so this surgery, uh, was really more of her, her last ditch effort to become seizure free and she was the first patient involved uh, in Florida with laser ablation and also uh, involved in a clinical trial basis to study the effects of laser ablation uh, in the brain for epilepsy. This is a procedure that will ultimately be a game changer and up until probably a year or two ago uh, it wasn't even on the map. I'm very grateful for Mayo Clinic, yes, absolutely. I am very happy for Nicole, and I'm very happy for her family, and I'm very happy that she's been able to achieve independence. It's been like night and day seeing what she went through before to how she's come the past eight to 12 months. So it's, it's truly amazing the uh, progress that she has made. I really love my granddaughter. And, uh, I, you know, I just look for her to move forward in her life. I got it! Finally! Again! Hold on tight. Give it, I, give it to me, woman. I, will, I swear. All right, <laughs> let's go. Here we go. The radio's mine now. Having, having the procedure done, the laser surgery, and having my license back now, it just everything is just totally changed. New doors, new opportunities. I can get my life straight. I can just finally move on. You know? I feel like for 29 years, she's been held back. Now, it's like the doors are open. Look out, world. Here's Nicole. I mean, she's going to, she's going to, she doesn't have that gray cloud hovering over her anymore. High five! Congratulations! Woo! You did it!